What's up guys? My name is Matthew Ogus. Today I'm going to be showing you through my arms routine. This is a routine that I've been doing about twice every eight days. This is something that you could try out once or twice a week to really bring up your arms. This is a high volume routine, very high volume. So some of you guys may want to stick closer to three sets per exercise. I'm going to go for five sets per exercise and if you're somewhere in between, go ahead and do that. We're going to do three bicep exercises, three tricep exercises, and two rear delt exercises. Since these are weak points on my body, I'm really trying to bring up hitting them with massive amounts of volume. Now before we begin with the first exercise, let me stress how important it is to get your shoulders nice and warmed up. And let's get started guys. Let's kill it. Alright guys, so once my shoulders warm up, I'll do a little bit of warming up for my bicep and tricep. Really just getting this area nice and safe, warm, protected. I'll do a really light set of tricep pushdowns with just minimal, minimal weight. I'll do like 10 or 15 like this. I'll do 10 or 15 like this. Really light weight. And then I'll do 10 or 15 like this. After that, I'll take some five pound dumbbells and I'll just play around with these bad boys. Warming up my elbows, warming up my arms, my biceps. Just do 10 to 20 in all kinds of different ways. Once I'm done with that, I'll get on to my first superset. I'll start warming that up. First exercise, close grip bench press. Doing five sets of eight to 10. You don't want to grip the barbell as narrow as you see so many people that you do it in the gym where their elbows are pointed way out and their forearms aren't perpendicular to the ground. You generally want the forearms perpendicular to the ground with the hands above your elbows. The bar will be lowered slightly below where you traditionally lower it with a regular grip bench press because you're tucking the elbows a little bit to try to target the triceps. A grip just outside or around your shoulder width usually works best for most people. Seated rear delt flies, also called seated reverse flies. Go ahead and actually set that seat so that your elbows are about shoulder height. That way, when you're doing these, you can minimize the usage of your lats. Big, big tip, guys. So make sure you set that seat correctly. Chest up against the bench, shoulders not necessarily retracted, and just focus on squeezing your rear delts. Control the movement at all times, get a full range of motion. You don't necessarily have to bring the elbows way far behind the body, just breaking behind the body, and that's totally fine. So the next set of exercises I do, bicep curls, along with tricep pushdowns. I do these either in superset fashion, one right after the other, or if I have extra time in the day, I will take maybe 30 seconds to a minute between the curls and the pushdowns. I do these curls the way you see them right here. You know, not too strict, but at the same time, not breaking my back or anything. And usually, um, I like to take a medium grip, sometimes slightly wider, not really narrower, to be honest and I like to keep it pretty steady tempo, good squeeze, good stretch, make sure that my wrists are pretty straight at all times, they're not bending back or I'm corking in, and that's pretty much how I do that. Like I said guys, if I have the time in the day, I take a little bit of extra time between the curls with the push downs, but for most people, say you got like kids, wife or whatever, doing supersets is also fine. It's just you won't be able to handle as much weight on these push downs uh, as if you were to take a little bit more time before them. So these push downs, I definitely recommend doing these with an overgrip just so you can handle more weight. If that causes elbow issues, a rope or undergrip is fine. Just know that you will not be able to handle as much weight. You will not be able to overload the triceps as well as doing these with an overgrip. I'm using the whole stack here, doing sets of 12. I love also doing 15 or even up to 20 reps with these bad boys. You'll be doing things. As you guys see, my uh, form on this wasn't overly strict. One reason is uh, with lots of isolation movements, um, it really doesn't hurt you by using just a little bit of momentum or a little bit of uh, body English with it. Now, of course, it takes a little bit off, but at the same time, it allows you to use 
more weight. So it's a give and a take that probably uh, all factors equal, effort equal, gives you probably the same, the same overall tension, if that makes sense. Perfectly strict form, less weight, or slightly less strict form, more weight, perhaps even more reps. Uh, given that the overall effort is the same, you're probably looking at the same result. Do whatever feels best for you and whatever you enjoy the most. And I think that is the way to go. This next superset can also be done in alternating fashion. Pinwheel curls are really hard to mess up. They're just alternating hammer curls where basically your left dumbbell comes up to the right chest and the right dumbbell comes up to the left chest. And you cannot do these both at the same time, obviously, because the dumbbells would hit each other, if that makes sense. Anyways, face pulls, these bad boys I like to do with an overgrip that you see here. Sometimes I'll do these with an undergrip, but basically the point is to bring these up against the side of the head, up towards the ears, and get a nice contraction in the rear delts. It'll also hit your medial delt. I love these in the 12 to 15 rep range, and sometimes I love also just doing 20s, really light 20s. This fourth and final superset is done in traditional fashion with the curls right after the tricep extensions. I like doing these tricep extensions that you see here on this kind of machine to really hit the long head of the triceps in a way that doesn't really hurt my elbows. I've done skull crushers, I've done standing dumbbell tricep extensions in the past and eventually somewhere down the road, somewhere along the line, my elbows would develop a tendonitis from that. Doing these, that has never happened and I love doing these. So I'll do sets of 12 to 20, usually just depending on kind of how I feel, I'll pick a weight that'll be in the lower end or in the higher end. Immediately after doing this, walk over to the Preacher Biceps Machine, boom, once again, five sets, 12 to 20 reps, and pretty much the same concepts. As always, stretch, squeeze every single rep, and I'll pick a, a weight that's either in the lower end of 12 to 20 or in the higher end that allows me to uh, generally complete all sets in that range. There we have it guys, call to arms, Matt Ogus' arm day routine. Hope you enjoyed this video once again. It was about three to five sets of all of these exercises. I'm anticipating some of you guys' questions and if you get pressed for time, what I would probably suggest is, especially on the last exercises, maybe just do two or three sets on those last exercises and on the last set, so maybe the third or fourth set, go ahead and do uh, drop sets to failure. Um, that's pretty much what I would recommend if you get uh, a little time pressed. And if you're extremely time pressed, then you can maybe do drops as failure on each exercise on the third or fourth set of each exercise. Uh, besides that, you know, if you have the time, if you have an hour, hour and a half, do the full three to five uh, sets of each exercise. Get the full amount of volume that this exercise or that this routine offers you, and over time, continue to progress your weights. Increase the weight, increase the amount of volume you're doing. If you started with three sets each, work your way to four sets of each, work your way to five sets of each. And once again, guys, if you can press for time, that's when you kind of throw in some intensity techniques, throw in the drop sets, throw in uh, you know, smaller rest periods and all that good stuff. Hope you really enjoyed this video, guys. I hope it was informative. Hope you learned something. Uh, if you want to support the channel, definitely subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button, share this with your friends. And uh, last but not least, big shout out to my uh, sponsor, Gymshark. Uh, if you click the link in the description box, you can check out all the apparel that Gymshark offers, and it also helps support this channel. Use the discount code MADOGUS10 for 10% off. Once again, guys, I love you so much, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And we're out.